Oh, so so we're laughing here because you know we we're all together. We're all like you know we uh, we took a shower. <laughs> we got ready for this. And what what happened in your house, Susan? I the well, chicken. my house, the chicken was going nuts behind us. She's lay, they, a couple of them were laying an egg and they were fighting over a roosting box. Okay. And my, <laughs> you know, unbeknownst to me, a contractor is working on uh, the side of the house right outside my office window. <laughs> it's making a racket. And yeah. Lane, how about you? I've got six people in the house. You know, I got kids coming in and out and I'm not at my regular desk. So I'm trying to like stop them from walking over <laughs> Right, like that's, it's crazy. And, and so when we're dealing with life and we're dealing with our business and we're dealing with all the things that we have, how do you decide, like, what should I be working on today? Oh. What should I be working on later today? What should I be working on tomorrow? I know that Kathleen, that's where you live is like helping people figure out what's the one thing, the two things you need to get done in a day. Yeah, so, so you know, I am all about the weekly plan. Um, and this is what I work with a lot of my clients on. And the reason I like the weekly plan is that it gives you the space to, to be more intentional with your time because you, you block out some time <clears throat> to actually work on your plan for the week. And it, uh, it gives you a little breathing room and you can be really intentional about what you're going to be working on. So you can be strategic. So you make sure that what you've got planned is actually in alignment with your goals. Um, it allows you to keep all your project plans up to date and relevant, and it, and it gives you the space to really identify things that you can outsource or delegate. So it gives you that, that time to be thoughtful. So this way you're not getting up every day and just like reacting to whatever shows up in your email box or whoever calls. You can actually put a plan together and take control of your time and make sure you're working on the right things. Yeah, it takes discipline. Right. Yeah, it does. It does. And you've got to carve out the time. It, it will not happen on its own. You need to block out the time and do it. So it needs, it needs to go on your list too. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know that's what happened after our, you and I had our sessions is I just um, right away blocked out two hours on a Friday and I call it work on a CEO hour or project planning hour or something like that. So that I always have those two hours to wrap all my own stuff, work in my business, is that right? Or on my business, work on yeah. my own business instead of helping with my client yeah. work that yeah. I do. And I mean, to sing your praises, Kathleen, it does. It makes me feel confident and purposeful. It makes me feel like I'm doing the things so that more things can get done. I yeah. mean, the interesting thing is that a lot of, a lot of us uh, block out like Financial Friday, Marketing Monday, you know, you, these are my client days, but um, the planning, a two hour planning block. I mean, that is what it, t I mean, it, it takes that much to go through the project plan. And I think one of the other struggles is which tool do you use? You know, there's so many tools out there. How do you just pick one and run with it? So I hope we'll get that. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to now because I, I think we will I think we will. <laughs> <laughs> so much we need to talk about thank you Kathleen what's your post-it note for this tip this my post-it note is plan your week 